Hey man, say man. Oh, matter of fact, yeah, man, TV. Hey man, say man. They about to be a very special episode of Yeah Man TV. Tell them who we got on the jump. Yo, man, y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Miley, straight out of Nashville, Tennessee, man. You know what I mean? I'm from Lebanon, the outskirts, but I've been really pushing that Nashville wave. Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been maneuvering through this, so you know what I mean? Yeah, what's that? From both places. Yeah, what's that name of you you come from with? Uh, none of them, but like I said, radio gave me that opportunity to just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, to test them areas, so you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, how was it uh, growing up for you out there? In, in Nashville, Lebanon. 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 Uh, it was cool, bro. It's really a modest place, man. Uh, it's good. I feel like it's one of them places that's good uh, to come back to when you want to raise your kids or really just settle down for, for young people like ourselves, yeah. entrepreneurs or whatever. I feel like we, we need to go other places to branch out to really do what we, what, what, what we need to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. That, for sure. That. Hey, man. Say, man. This your boy Greg Wap a lot I get man. Make sure you check in and like, share, and subscribe to Yeah Man TV. Hey, when did the music come to play for you? Oh man, I really been playing with the music since I was a kid, bro. Like yeah. I don't know if you could remember, but back in the day it used to just be me and my brother. My brother a producer, his name Gnarly Rad Ass. So like when we was growing up, bro, he used to be able to incline with the instruments and I used to be the rapper, so yeah. We used to have to take the paper balls and put it in the uh, the, the cassette tapes and put it in there. You know what I'm saying? Really yeah. get it out like this. So we've been doing it that long. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we've been into uh, into music since we was kids, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Hey, how would you describe Nashville music sound right now? Uh, it's cool, man. It's uh, it's a lot of different things happening. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of dope artists. Uh, it's a lot of different variety and just different types of talent. I just feel like we need to unify more and everything else would be good, meaning every, all the resources need to pull together, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Hey, hey and Nashville, man, them motherfuckers down there 10, 15 years ago, I had nowhere near as many buildings that this shit got in there. Nah, they popping, bro, and like, you know, like I used to, uh, I used to say, man, I wanted to move away from Tennessee, and like, I feel like Atlanta and stuff like this still cool too, but yeah. Nashville actually a dope spot. Yeah, yeah. Everybody want to come here, you know what I mean? Like, Buzz and bruise. Yeah, yeah. Fuck me straight. out my money, yeah. but it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were feeling that? Nah, uh, I was feeling it, but it was like one of those highs, you could, I couldn't go to sleep and see it, I couldn't, you know what I I ain't gonna say I was too high, but I was like, man, I want my money back for him. For sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure that, for sure that. Hey, uh, man, you used to do a uh, radio? Yeah, uh, man, I'm really like two years removed from that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was uh, fortunate enough to be able to uh, uphold a position at uh, WVOL, which is the same place that Open Winfrey started at, you know what I mean? Yeah, And I, I pretty much did all the background work, and I, uh, I took a lot of my friends with me along the way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it kind of like, it was really just, a situation for me, but I, you know, I was been kind of business savvy and really seeing where the holes in the businesses they could be filled yeah. that would make things easier. So like, I brought along some of my friends too with me, and we kind of, man, went there, did wonderful things. We probably be in a year's time frame, uh, book 60, 70 interviews. We had a couple from in and out of town. We had people from Indianapolis coming for uh, for me, uh, South Carolina. Like uh, she worked in radio with us too. That she model started around right there. Yeah, yeah. I go follow her. She dope. But uh, yeah, yeah she, we we had people just coming just on the strength for us, man. So we really, uh, I feel like changed the culture of the radio station. It hey man, say man, this your boy Greg Wap a lot. I get man. Make sure you check in and like, share, and subscribe to Yeah Man TV. It wasn't what it was before we got there. It it was that, but it needed that. That, that that sauce, that refreshing wave yeah. that we came through and did that. And like I said, now, uh, like I said, being two years removed, we got this podcast called the Yes 88 Podcast where we're gonna be talking about music, fashion, and culture. So that's really, that and uh, fashion, man, that's that's the next two ways for me. You know, I, I still do music. I've been into it for a while. I'm older now, so bro, like, I done been there, did it, still doing it, but like I'm in a different space even with that, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. That. I won't be doing, I won't be sitting over there doing what you doing now, you know what I mean? Yeah, I ain't, but I ain't doing it that, man. Nah, you doing this, this dope, bro, you know what I mean? If you ain't pulling up on yet, yeah, man, I don't know what you doing, you know what I mean? Hey, man, say, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nah, fans, bro, for sure, bro. I appreciate that, I appreciate that. Hey, look, I had to send you with the net. Hey, nah, back on the radio shit. For sure. Hey, look, do you feel like radio still need it right now? Absolutely. Uh, uh, just feel like, just like I feel like 
brick and mortar uh, places where you can go res get your fashion that is still needed. You know yeah. what I mean? Like they work hand in hand, just like we need to still be putting out music on uh, line and still pushing it in the streets and still giving people the physical, the posters, the this, the that, you know what I mean? Uh, and yes, radio is important because just like podcasting and, and being able to pull up here is important because it gives the artist that opportunity to give something that they haven't, give you a different side of them that they hadn't seen outside of the music. So yeah, I do feel like it's important. As far as spins and all of that goes, it's a lot of politics there, a lot of favoritism yeah. and a lot of, you know, we only gonna rock with you if you want. You paid that, huh? you paid that money? Have I? Now I tell me, uh, when a motherfucker got on the radio, that you gotta pay, don't they yeah, gotta yeah, pay Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Like, and that's what the radio, even at the station we, we worked at like uh, you could you could buy a fifty dollar commercial slots like like when we go break in between here yeah. all that extra time like if you had something that you was pushing or something along the lines of that you could definitely purchase uh, the space for that so yeah it ain't nothing but that though no. yeah for sure for yeah. sure hey man say man oh, matter of fact yeah man TV hey man say man. This your boy Greg lot I get, man. Make sure you check in and like, share, and subscribe to Yeah, Man TV. Hey, you just really just made me look at radio different, bro. Cause like, man, I don't never listen to the radio. As soon as I get in the car, you hear me? Bluetooth straight on. Yeah. Yeah, for sure that, for sure that. Hey, I had some some shit, man, that you was at the Navy a pro -Am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah shout out that. to Jeff Magruder and, and Rasheed Walker, man. Uh, she, uh, uh, Rasheed, Past, unfortunately, man, a great guy, man. Uh, he's the one, one of the founders of the program. Jeff still living and carrying the torch. Shout out to Young Quill, too, and DJ Heavyweight. Love him, man. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Those are the guys that kind of still responsible for, for making it happen to them. But the program is dope, bro. They bring in a lot of NBA players and college guys, and they had, a, a, you know, they spend the local music and all the, everybody that's somebody locally, all the local, local celebrities and stuff come out, the kids be out there really. It's one of them things to do in Nashville in the summertime. Definitely one of them places to be at, for sure. Yeah, for sure, definitely. So sure. shout out again to Jeff Magruder and Rasheed Wallace, R.P. the dog. I mean, Rasheed Walker, man. Yeah, for yeah. sure, man, for sure. Hey, you got a project coming out, man, uh, Sincerely Yours, too. Yeah, I do, and it's, it's been about two years since I uh, put music out again, man. Like I said, I really just been chilling, and uh, I started doing radio, you know what I mean? I kind of you know, uh, save face for a minute to go do something else, yeah. network a little bit, get a lot, uh, get to know a lot more people. So when I come back around with the music, you know what I mean? Yeah. It makes sense, but yeah, uh, on that note, like I said, this is the second installment, Sincerely Yours 2. I dropped that last, the last one last August with DJ Heavyweight Lover. Uh, we double it back again with this one. Yeah. The, the first one I took all industry uh, R&B beats and redid those. It's kind of like a little collective. I do something for the, for the women, man, I feel like we need to, you know what I mean, talk to them sometime and get them a lot yeah. more love in the music. It's too much B's and H's and- Switches. And you know what I mean? Just just kind of talking crazy. We need to get back to that that love, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's one of them mature projects I kind of, uh, you know, put together. Like I said, it's called Sicily Yours too. Uh, it's like a five song EP. Uh, I'll probably shoot like two or three videos off of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Carry me out for the rest of the year. Yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. And how would you describe your sound, though, bro? Uh, man, I, uh, man, I'm diverse, bro. I really, really feel like I could go a lot of ways. Like I was really finna get ready to drop my album called "Admire the Hustle." That's what I, I got that done too. But uh, you know how I be, man. Sometimes it's just good to, uh, you know, sit things to the side if it ain't really like it's supposed to be. But uh. Yeah, that album is called Admire the Hustle. So well, like I said, I usually do an album and a mixtape a year. So I just yeah. reversed the way I did it. So uh, yeah, man, I'm diverse, bro. Like, I feel like I talk about real life. You know what I mean? I'm a reality-based rapper. I talk about relationships. I talk about what's going on in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I, can, I, can, I can really go from a lot of different angles. Yeah, for sure. I, and it's you, authentic, you know what I mean? I, don't, I feel like even, in Nashville, I'm coming with something different for sure, especially this new project. That's yeah. Cuban Cigars, bro. Yeah, I just had to bring this up. Look, that Man. Cuban Cigars are crazy. I ain't Man. gonna let it. It's in the same I done bought the hell about three times, bro. Man, I, I, I appreciate it. Hey, what was the move to the studio when you was making that motherfucker? Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? I just was, was, was wanting to pop it, really, like, 
Like again, I hadn't put out no music, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I'm like, shit, I need to get back in that, in that lab and really, the, it, we coming up on the end of the year, man. And, you know, like I like to stay fly, I like to stay fresh. Uh, you know, I was really just popping about what's been going on and what I've been going through, you know what I mean? And, and where I'm at with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, and for sure. The music has improved so much. Now, you know what I'm saying? I really feel like I'm here now. This really showed. Hey, man, say, man. Uh, matter of fact, yeah, man, TV. Hey, man, say, man. This your boy Greg Wapalata get man. Make sure you check in and like, share, and subscribe to Yeah Man TV. Hey, I just for you like, what the, from the, the beginning when you started making music to now, like how is your sound type type shit? A lot, cause I was very aggressive in the beginning. Like, I don't want to. I was in the streets, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, all my friends, so you know, did what they did. Yeah, you know the, You know how to go. Yeah, but uh. Being in a, this game changed me and grown me to become a, a, a businessman. So like, yeah, you know I mean? yeah, yeah, for sure, bro, for sure. Hey, um, hey, what's the internet impact on the music business in that view? You want the uh, the raw honesty? I ain't really even chat. Yeah, bro, being like I said, working in the radio, booking these artists to come in. Cause we be in the field too. Like I go out to showcases and, uh, you know, we got, like I said, we got the podcast coming up. So I go out and scout talent, uh, see different people just to see who I want to bring next. Probably, sh I'm sure like y'all, but uh, bro, like, you know, they're coming there with all that ice on and them chains and like, I'm watching, I'm outside watching, you know, I like to sit outside and watch the people pull up and, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, it's 15, 15,000 views online, but when you pull it up, you had like five deep in the car, got 20 chains a piece. So it's like, damn, I guess I ain't really, you know, I, I, I ain't comparing me, but it's like, damn, like I'm taking this way too serious. Like this really is just entertainment, you know what yeah. I mean? Not judging, but it's like, shit, like I'm doing that for you, all right, you know what I mean? Like, it's just weird. Like you, you asking, like it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of cap. Like I said, I believe in authenticity. For real. I ain't saying that nobody doing what they doing, yeah. or, but, it's a lot of cap in there, rap. And it, uh, it's cool to it's cool to stretch it sometimes, but because this is like I said, this is art. You know what yeah. I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with it, but I don't know how you feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey, look, you had did the bread or butter cover. Killed it. Yeah, shout out the gunner man. I don't care what nobody say. Like I, I do, I I I like to separate the music from the art, like the person. Yeah. You can't put them two together. He's still a talented artist. You know what I mean? I don't agree with what he did on that other side, but how he came back with the music. Captain, that is it. Yeah, I had to get on that bread and hey, butter. I hey, feel like mine harder than his, though, to be real. Yeah, man. No hey, cap. And hey, how you had feel, bro, when you, oh, when you had seen in the club, they were bumping that motherfucker, and then they had just stopped, like the whole club stopped dancing, motherfuckers stopped doing it, stopped doing what they were well, doing. It'd be different because. Uh, a rat get out of jail and they'll respect him and throw parties for him, so what's the difference? A, a killer rat, though. You, you feel gotta me? be a killer like, rat. What's the, what's, really, <laughs> what's the difference, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. See, he a, see, I, I don't support this shit, but he a rapper, though. So like, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Look, I don't support it either, but yeah. I'm separating him, the person, from the... He did that as whatever, and this is music we talking about. Yeah. That's two different... And, he done, and I already see them motherfucker been talking. He done jumped past done. He done outsold That's what done. I'm saying, though. So, yeah, he got the only number one hip-hop album out of this shit. If, if it was that bad, would it, would, it, would, it, would it be that way? You know what I mean? Yeah, most, hey, most folks don't care about this shit no more, though. Like, I do still, but what I'm, yeah. that's why I said, like, when it comes to it, I'm just really separate, keeping it on. If we speak it on the music, you know what I mean? Now, if we talking about him as the person, then I ain't, I ain't really with that, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey, um... Hey, how you feel about mixtape sites going down, like Spare Real and, uh, I'm glad you asked that, bro. Like, yeah. No, no lie, bro. Like, I, I was heavy on that. That was, that piffle is, I can, I can, very, that piffle uh, is responsible for a lot of my front end success, bro. I had like 15, 20 projects yeah. on there before that, and I didn't even get a chance to go on there and download them before they shut the site down. So, a person like me that's watched music change so much from, the tape age to the MP3 age to the internet to the CD to the it hurt you know yeah. that was our that was our form of independent and just a way to yeah. release and be free and just 
So it, it hurt me because, like I said, I had some dope music. Like it was, it, it was my rap real estate, as I like to say. Like people could go back and really dive in and see that early on malice to respect the music now. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, I, I I really had to notice that, bro, because uh, it's a big mix. A lot of not accountable. I hear an underground rapper, and he was like, you know, asking fans, like, do they got any of his music that they can send him and shit? Cause hell got access to none of his own shit. That's what I'm saying. So it, it do hurt. It did, you, man. It did. It, it did. Everybody, I feel like everybody was sick about that. Like, everybody went out for that piff. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Hey, uh, Star Lido. My dog. Love, love Star. Yeah. Hey, how you feel about his impact on the FBM music? Man, he definitely slept on. Uh, I don't. He he gets the credit he deserves, but he don't get the credit he deserves. Yeah. Uh, on an independent level, like like how much how much sweeter does it get to still be able to buy yourself out your deal, still go be able to do songs with all the big dogs, and and can still maneuver and and you know what I'm saying? Like he he got it he got it sweet. Yeah. And forever a legend, you know what I mean? Like I feel like it's it's three artists and. To me, four now, but like just if we speaking on, I'ma still say Buck, but we can get to that other later. But yeah. I don't feel like nobody ever be bigger than Buck. Buck went platinum, but we're in a different age. I mean, we're in a different time with music now where it don't add up the same, so we hey, can't really say that. Hey, you say, oh, uh, ain't nobody gonna be bigger than Buck? No, I'm just talking about Buck went platinum. Like nobody will ever, ain't nobody uh, did. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? When you look, we, we talking music now. Yeah. Some, there's other, but I, mean, I was giving you my four. It ain't gotta be in no order, but I'm just if we really looking at the facts, like Buck went platinum, I'ma say Buck start then star, but really, you know what I mean? Yeah. Buck star, uh, the city paper, Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Yeah. 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 Hey, nah, Jelly Roll hard though. Ain't you gotta put him in there. Look, ain't gonna he, come on, like bro. Like, ain't gonna, he hard. And then if we can, we can go down to a lower tier and then talk about the little stage and the SB Canes and the. Uh, ABK Gates, I don't know if y'all know about ABK yeah. Gates, but different artists like that that's on the come up next, you know what I mean? Hey man, say man. Uh, matter of fact, yeah man, TV. Hey man, say man. This your boy Greg Wapalata get man. Make sure you check in and like, share, and subscribe to Yeah Man TV. Yo, hey, what's some advice, bro, you would you would give your 18 year old self? About the music business, about, you know, man, whatever. period, man. I wish I, I got a big heart, bro. So like, I don't ever feel like in my life, you know, I, I love helping people, that's who I am. I feel like that's what I was here to do, you know what I mean? I feel like I can, I see things from that different lens that sometimes that, that I can help people pull it together. So it's like, if I could go back and tell the 18 year old self me, like, man, like, I've been patient, I preach patience, but it's like, man, like, slow down yeah. a little bit more. Like, I gotta slow down a lot, but I slow down the older I got, but like, I wish I had would have had the level of focus I got now. I did musically, but just in life to outside outside of music, like just finance and just to you know, yeah. spinning the right way. Maybe it could have looked a little bit more like this if I would have, you know what I mean? More effort. Yeah. Nah, nah, the effort is there. Like I like I'm going I feel like from where I'm from, just around that way I'm going down is one of the ones too, you know what I mean? For the yeah. body of work that I done put in, you know? We had to just slow down, man. Like, damn, like, focus on. Yeah, for sure that, for sure that. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure that. Hey, is there any, were there any hurdles though, bro, along the way that made you want to stop? Absolutely, bro. Like, you know, this game is very, uh, like I've been in this game, like I'm, I'm 35 now, so I've been, I've been in the game since I was like 19. Yeah. But I, I, I'm at a point of transitioning too. Like I said, I still rap just to kind of stay relevant and keep some dope music out. But, you know, I be managing artists too. Like I said, I got an artist named KJ Scabby. Yeah. I've had a crop of a few different artists. Like my label is called Yes 88, Young Entertainment South, You Equal Success. Yeah. That's where the Yes 88 come from. So. I've been having that since I was like 19. I've been branding clothes through it. I just been yeah, I just been, yeah, I just been expanding it. But uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like talk, yeah, talk talk a little bit more about some shit that you went to outside of the music. Uh, outside of the music, like I said, I feel like my next wave is podcasting. I do doing kind of what you do. Uh, uh like I said, in branding the clothes, I'm, I feel like uh, clothes is something I always been into. It go hand in hand with the music, and I got some dope shit that's yeah. that's coming. And everything I've ever always put out, I've always been able to sell. But this time around, like, 
it's different. I got treated a lot. It's 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 more personal. So like it's gotta everything gotta you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Pan out. Hey, is it anything you know outside of sincerely yours too that the people need to be able to look out for though? Outside of the, what is it? Sincerely yours too. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Admire the Hustle album uh, coming probably later next year. Uh, the clothing line, the red feather, pink feather clothing line. I'm gonna drop the name on you know. Yeah. And forget it. We'll we'll. We'll leave it. We'll, we'll nah, leave it. Nigga better not play. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave the rest for later. You know what yeah. I mean? But we got that. Uh, we'll probably do. Uh, we'll keep the the gifted run active because I did very well with that, and I was able to push that through the schools. You know what I'm saying? I've been yeah. very impactful for the schools outside of rapping too. Did a lot of charitable work back home where I'm from. Uh, been in the schools the prior to the last five years, ten years to that. So man, like I'm big on just really trying to. Yeah, you know, get back in the community. But yeah, that's what I really be doing, man, and chilling. I'm just for the people, you know what I mean? Have I can be. Yeah, for sure. I did my last one, man. Hey, what's one message you got for the uh, people that believe in you? Keep believing, man. Uh, I feel like I grew up on the internet with Sean, man. Uh, I am, I am hope. I have been hope to my city, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? like. I'm still that I am the motivation, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the only one, but I've been that, you know what I mean? It's, it's been good to be able to be an uh, inspiration to give somebody a blueprint or something to just to 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 look to, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, man, TV. Man, we appreciate you for coming to fuck with us, man. Absolutely, man. Hey, grand. can't wait till this is really your two drop. Yeah. Keep on doing your thing, man. Sure, Yo, man. This is upon you. Yeah, man, TV, and we gone, man. Huh. Yeah, man. Hey, man, say, man. Hey, man, say, man. It's your boy, Greg. Rock a lot of you, man. Make sure you check in and like, share, and subscribe to Yeah, man, TV. This your timeless a peace. I'm reminding the streets to keep eyes on the beast. Nigga. I'm with a baddie. Yeah, she calling me daddy. Put her ass in the caddy. Yeah, this shit automatic. Oh, yeah. Where did I spit this shit? I know that she in it. Yeah. Come get with a gentleman.